Hi friends, China just made a bold move in the global space race. On February 11, 2025, the country successfully launched its brand new Long March 8A rocket, deploying the latest batch of satellites for its ambitious Guang Mega Constellation. This project aims to rival Starlink with 1,300 satellites in low Earth orbit. This isn't just another launch, it's a game changer. A more powerful rocket, a massive internet constellation, and China's push to dominate satellite communication. But what makes this mission so special, and how does it reshape the future of global connectivity? Stick around, we're breaking it all down. China's space program has entered a new phase with the successful debut of the Long March 8A rocket. This advanced launch vehicle is designed to meet the increasing demand for rapid and efficient satellite deployment, particularly for large-scale constellations in low and medium Earth orbit. Design and Specifications The Long March 8A stands 50.5 meters tall and has a liftoff mass of 371 metric tons. It retains the first stage core and boosters from its predecessor, the Long March 8, but introduces a major improvement, a redesigned second stage. This new stage has a 3.35 meter diameter and uses liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen as propellants, powered by two upgraded YF-75H engines. These engines provide higher thrust and efficiency, making the rocket more capable of deploying multiple satellites in a single mission. Another critical enhancement is the larger payload fairing, which comes in 4.2 meter and 5.2 meter variants. This upgrade allows the rocket to carry heavier and more complex satellite configurations, ensuring better adaptability for different missions. Performance Capabilities The Long March 8A can deliver up to 7,000 kg to a 700 km sun-synchronous orbit. This increased payload capacity makes it an ideal vehicle for deploying satellite constellations like the Guang Project. By transporting more satellites in a single launch, China can accelerate the deployment of global broadband networks while lowering operational costs. Technological innovations are one of the key innovations of the Long March 8A. Its integrated multifunctional compartment combines satellite support structures, an adapter frame, and an instrument cabin into a single unit. This design reduces the rocket's weight by 200 kilograms, improving fuel efficiency and payload capability. Additionally, the new universal hydrogen-oxygen upper stage enhances mission reliability and enables more precise orbital insertions. With the introduction of Long March 8A, China now has a fully capable medium-lift launch vehicle that supports both commercial satellite deployments and national space initiatives. This rocket plays a crucial role in China's broader space strategy, enhancing its ability to quickly deploy communications and reconnaissance satellites while strengthening its influence in the global space industry. China's ambitious Guawang Mega Constellation is set to revolutionize global broadband access with a planned network of 1,300 satellites in low Earth orbit, or LEO. This project positions China as a major competitor in the satellite internet sector, aiming to challenge existing players like Starlink and OneWeb. Officially known as China SatNet, Guawang is a state initiative designed to provide high-speed, low-latency broadband services worldwide. The goal is to connect remote and underserved regions, creating a fully integrated global communication network that reduces dependency on traditional ground-based internet infrastructure. The project is managed by China Satellite Network Group Company, Limited, which oversees satellite production, launch planning, and network operations. The satellites are built using advanced AI-driven networking capabilities, allowing them to automatically adjust connections based on demand and signal interference. Strategic Objectives AANG serves multiple strategic purposes, including expanding global connectivity, providing high-speed broadband to rural and underserved areas, particularly in developing regions fostering technological and economic growth, establishing China as a leading force in space-based internet services. Moreover, it aims at driving innovation and commercial opportunities enhancing national security by developing an independent satellite communication network that reduces reliance on foreign infrastructure, competing in the global space economy by entering the commercial satellite market 
to compete with Western Internet constellations? Challenges and considerations While the Guang project presents enormous potential, it faces significant challenges, including space debris and traffic management. Deploying thousands of satellites raises concerns about orbital congestion and the risk of collisions, requiring robust space traffic management protocols. International competition and regulations also pose hurdles, as the project must secure global frequency spectrum rights, while competing with established networks like Starlink and OneWeb. Finally, technological adaptation is crucial, ensuring seamless integration of satellite broadband with terrestrial networks will be critical for commercial success. The second batch of Guang satellites was successfully launched aboard the Long March 8A on February 11, 2025, following the first deployment in December 2024 using the Long March 5B rocket. These missions demonstrate China's commitment to rapidly deploying its mega constellation, bringing the project closer to global operation. With further satellite launches planned throughout 2025 and beyond, Guang is steadily progressing toward full operational capacity reinforcing China's ambition to become a global leader in space-based communications. Next Generation Scrub is committed to becoming a global leader in space-based communications. China's space program is expanding at an unprecedented pace, with plans for more advanced rockets, reusable launch systems, and deep space exploration missions. China has a packed schedule for 2025 including crewed missions. The Shenzhou-20 and Shenzhou-21 missions will transport astronauts to Tiangong, China's space station, expanding its long-term space habitation program. Cargo deliveries by the Tianzhou cargo spacecraft will resupply Tiangong, supporting ongoing scientific experiments and station maintenance. The Tianwen-2 mission is set to retrieve samples from a near-Earth asteroid, pushing China's deep space research to new heights. China is rapidly developing new launch vehicles to meet growing demands for deep space exploration and commercial satellite deployment. The Long March 9, a super heavy lift rocket, is designed for crewed lunar missions and future Mars exploration. The Long March 10 is developed to support China's upcoming lunar landings, featuring enhanced safety and efficiency for human spaceflight. The Long March 12 is a flexible, rapid responsive rocket designed for military and commercial payloads focusing on quick turnaround and frequent launches. These next-generation rockets will play a critical role in China's expanding space ambitions, allowing the country to compete with global space powers while supporting major exploration projects. The next step, China is also investing heavily in reusable rocket technology to reduce costs and increase launch frequency. Future Long March variants, including potential reusable versions, are being developed to rival SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Starship systems. A key focus is recoverable booster technology, which will allow rockets to return and land safely for reuse, significantly cutting down mission expenses while enabling higher launch rates. The success of these systems could position China as a global leader in cost-effective spaceflight. The inaugural flight of the Long March 8 and the ongoing development of the Guawang Mega Constellation underscore China's rapid progress in space technology and its commitment to enhancing global connectivity. These initiatives not only aim to bridge the digital divide, but also position China as a key player in the burgeoning field of satellite internet services. As we look to the future, it will be fascinating to observe how these developments influence the global landscape of space exploration and communication. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website royaltyside.blogger.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.